Hi everyone, we are rabbit test of the AI. What are we solving today? On a daily basis, small and large businesses lose the part of revenue because they can hire wonderful people like you. They also, on an average, it takes 25 days to hire a person a wonderful coder like you. And also, that generates a lot of bad experience on the candidate side as well as on the company side. So, what's the solution? Obviously, it's rabbitrabbitrex.ai. So, what are we? We are an automated hiring process. What it does, it reduces the time to hire people, which in turn improves the experience of the candidate and also saves time and money for the business. So guys, I'm going to talk you through some of the architecture of what's going on before we do a demo with you. So we have an applicant audio input. So this is a phone call and you call the number provided by the employer and what's actually happening in the background that you won't be able to see in the demo is Simwood is authenticating the user and redirecting it to a particular Twilio number. So the Twilio number, it could be for a software engineer role, project manager role, it's all different. And the conversation between that number and the applicant is different based on the number that's being called. Additionally, what Twilio is doing is pulling variables resume. For example, your university, certain companies you worked at, you'll see it in the demo. Then after, what, after that, when that happens, when the conversation ends, Simwood sends a server post request to tell our server that the conversation is finished, now request the transcript from Twilio. After that happens, we send the transcript from our server to AWS Comprehend, which analyzes the text. So it analyzes the sentiment, for main topics, and that can actually be seen on the employer dashboard. So to talk a little bit about uh, AWS, AWS Comprehend, all it's doing is it's extracting key data from the conversation that's being had, like topic, sentiment, language, and more. You have a trial account. You can move this message at any time by upgrading to a full account. Run any key to execute your code. Good morning, Sapria. We are calling you from Apple. Are you ready? Yes. Let's get started. Can you tell us more about why you love physics? I love physics because there are a few fundamental laws that explain the whole universe, from atom to galaxies. What were your favorite courses at University College London? I studied MSc Entrepreneurship at UCL. Marketing and Finance were the two subjects that I loved a lot. What did you like about working for Google? The flexibility of work was the main driving factor for working at Google. Thank you so much for your time. If you are successful, we will reach out to schedule a final behavioral interview with you. Goodbye. So what happened there was, once the call was finished, a CDR record was created and Simwood was configured to send a post request to to the server. And uh, oh wait, where did the um, where did the sentiment go? Oh no. Um, this. Yes, uh, the sentiment was, oh wait, it didn't print. <laughs> that is it. But in our earlier testing, it would give us a sentiment value. In this case, it would have been positive, along with the score for this demo, but uh, for some weird reason, it didn't print. If you go back to the presentation. Let me head back to the presentation. So this is a brief uh, demonstration about what the employer dashboard would look like. As you can see, you have some of the other candidates, the, this particular candidate's re um, references, and some of the information being displayed as data. 
So it's, it's we, we want to bring the time from 25 days to five days. Analyze the resume, do the initial interview to schedule a behavioral assessment, and then uh, all the offer in five days. And we are not only people who are trying to do this. But how do we differentiate? We can integrate into their actual workflow present in the companies. We are cloud-based solutions. We are fast and efficient to deploy. We are a scalable solution. And apart from that, we are user-friendly, we are more engaged and cost-effective for companies and businesses to employ. And how is this possible? This could not have been possible without Dominic and without Oscar. So this is the lovely team that has made it possible. Let's hire the best, the best. Thank you so much. So this is the this is the uh, NG rock. Oh, sorry, the URL for the for the server there, and then so that's the web look in action, and that's the uh, the number here is what we were actually calling, and then that was rooted. <coughs> so that's uh, the use of symbol there. Thank you again. Any questions around the room? So do I understand correctly, the idea is that the CV or resume is uploaded and then you extract information about the candidate and then generate the questions based on that? Yeah. So what's happening right now, Indeed and all of those, there is a filtering process, but we do that initial filtering process and then there's additional process with the phone interview. So that's, that will be your initial phone interview with whatever company. It takes UCL, or Google, or whatever, it takes key variables that we always have. We all have the same kind of variables in our resume. So, yeah. I'll give you the text and when to move on to the next question. It's just by silence. So, if I can call for. So, at the moment, how we do it, we have like a qualified pause timer that we have coded in Toria, but we can change as we learn more about the process. Like, when people take longer pauses, if someone is stuck in a question, we don't want them to be bothered about it. Rather, we want to move to the next question. And at what stage do you think this would come in? Is it like pre screening or more later stage of interviews? I think it's more of the pre screening stuff that we are doing. Sorry, my voice is. Anything else? 